Stephen, the, the weekends we saw last weekend at Stanford and Borden, keeping you busy, and here, here at Linford today. Yes, yeah, I mean, this is uh, the pattern of uh, my summer, is to go around um, attending community events and uh, such like, because I think it's an important part to, to be seen, important part of the job to be seen out and about, and supporting the local community. And when you go to events like this, naturally it's great to support like, a new car park and, yeah. and, and you cooperate with the organisations, but you also get a chance to speak to residents and constituents? Absolutely, it's an opportunity for them to tell me what they think about the way that the country is at the moment, um, and you know, about the local area, because uh, not everyone will you know, make the effort or uh, be motivated enough to write or email, so this is a chance just to, to you know, take the pulse of the, the local population. One problem some of your residents may have had uh, again on Friday and again on Saturday is the problems at the Junction 30 and 25 and the yes. tolls. What's your take on all this? We've got to decide to sort this out. Um, when I was first elected and some of my other colleagues and I have been working on this with the Minister of Transport, Mike Penny, uh, we were told that there would be a suspension of the tolls when congestion got too heavy. Now, apparently that's not working. Why is it not working? We need to get on top of this. So I will be talking to Mike during next week, as I'm sure other colleagues will be as well, saying we've got to sort this out. You know, we can't just carry on putting off this problem. You mentioned Mike Penning, but the Federation of Small Business have attacked Mike, saying you shouldn't have made a promise about the ten, open up the tolls when there's a ten-mile tailback. I mean, I don't understand I mean, if, why we can't make that work. Um, if we can't, then yes, you're right, he shouldn't have made the promise. If he's made the promise, let's find a way of doing it. We've seen it done in the past. When there was a power cut, uh, I lose track of time now, but a year or so ago, the, the tolls were opened, the traffic flowed much more freely. Now, we must be able to sort this out. It can't be beyond the wit of man to find a, a technical solution to this problem. And, and finally, here we are in East Tilbury with a good news story, but unfortunately East Tilbury has been in the news regarding reopening and re-examining the Daniel Jones case. Yes. Do you mourn the death of the news of the world today? I don't. Um, I think it is, um, it's a sad day for journalism generally in that I think it has uh, exposed the seedier side of the trade. Um, I think the closing down of the news of the world is a cynical move on behalf of the Murdochs. Uh, they'll be selling five, ten times the amount of copies they would normally sell today, and I suspect we will have another Sunday paper back in its place in due course. But I suspect, and this is what the inquiry will establish, I suspect that these sort of uh, practices are more widespread than just the news of the world. And it may be that over the coming weeks and months we discover that uh, there are many, many other uh, practices that we, as members of the general public, would disapprove of. Uh, and I hope that we can clean up uh, the newspaper business in this country, if that is found to be the case.